First of all, thank you very much. Uh, the league is all about, basically, it is my dream that started two years ago. I really wanted this to happen, that the local players get recognition on TV. And this is the first time in Indian history that this underarm cricket league is coming live on a national television, that is D Sports. And which is, I'm really proud of that. All the players who really play who are playing here are really excited. Their family, their friends, were all excited that you know their children, their friends, their husbands, their brothers, they're all coming live on TV. And it's a really great feeling. So, so what are the plans, uh, Mr. Asif, in terms of uh, uh, you know, as you said, it's your dream. So that's that's what Dreams Premier League is all about. How did it all start? This started two years ago. That I thought I was playing a couple of local leagues, and I said that something bigger has to be done. Because all the players, they need recognition. They are really amazing players. They are players here who play. This is cricket is their bread and butter. Who earn their living from here? They live here. They, uh, you know, their families are run through cricket. So this is what I thought that you know I will give them recognition on TV. The best I can do. And this was the whole league has bought up. The Star Connect has you know done a wonderful job. Star Connect is a management team. Pallavi and Deepak, who've done a beautiful job of getting this all set up done, and a thumbs up for them. I'm very excited uh, whenever there's a sports event. Uh, it, I get this adrenaline somehow. I, it, it's just a very beautiful feeling for me. Uh, yes, apart from being an actress, I've always been a sportsman. Uh, I'm a true sportsman at heart, I would say. And uh, cricket, yes, I am associated with cricket as well. Uh, I think I've a couple of years back we had um, uh, uh, box cricket happening in our industry as well, so being an active uh, participant there as well. So um, apart from motorsports, yes, uh, I'm, I love cricket, so I'm uh, here for this event and I'm feeling very, really very excited to be here. And I, um, I understand what every player is going through right now and I just want to wish each and everybody all the very best. Uh, I think uh, it's a very good thing uh, Mr. Vasib has uh, got this, um, had to have this initiative of getting all these players together and makes a very important big deal for everybody. I, women, we keep talking about women uh, empowerment and uh, things are getting much better. Things are, uh, women outside are getting more valued, their, their activities are getting more valued and I think they're getting honoured as well. I think next year uh, Mr. Vasip should start thinking about uh, a women's team as well, a, a cricket uh, tournament between the women's team. Sure, I will, I will really take this as a, you know, uh, I will really take this on because I have got a couple of calls already from a uh, couple of friends and families that you know women team has to be inside yes. and that they also want to show their talent and they're hungry for to come on TV they have you know it has to be women team Definitely. Will be and I think I think all the married women we should initiate all the married women to be a part of uh, uh, this uh, the cricket team because uh, my mom she's uh, I'm sorry I'm going getting a little personal here my mom is uh, 62 63 right now and uh, she uh, represents the Maharashtra state at uh, wow. swimming championships even today and okay. I, I mean uh, she gets whenever she's back from a tournament um, from an um, uh, from her tournament she's back with four five gold four five silver I mean it's like really inspiring for all of us I think all the married women um, who uh, have very busy schedules taking care of the families I think could pull out a couple of hours in a day, maybe an hour or two, and get together and um, probably we could have more Sure, sure. This is, this is the real catch of this game that, you know, that any person, anyone, any age can play here because the shorter format mm -hmm. is the eight over format. The real catch of this game is that the fourth over is a double trouble over, which is very exciting that it can take the game any ways, any side, that the every run taken is a double. Every wicket gone is a minus 10. Oh. It's a very interesting format and a very short format. You can see the crowds, you know, enjoying it here. We have a crowd about 400 people here. Uh -huh. So I hope so. Inshallah, we should do it next year also. Definitely. Invitation by Deepak uh, of Star Connect. I got uh, excited, definitely, because I myself being a cricketer and uh, now into coaching, I always enjoy watching whatever format, whatever. Uh, game is around i just go there and watch so now this is a box cricket uh, box cricket is a very old format uh, but it's used to play on a gully cricket sort of thing so now it i can see that it's going on on a very large scale so it's like it looks like a mini ipl so just before ipl and uh, it's really exciting uh, good cricket uh, and i can see while uh, going for a show a photograph 
uh, I was watching the guys who were playing hitting shot all over the park. So it's really good and uh, I hope this continues for a very long time and it creates a lot of uh, opportunity for uh, locals to be in the, that sports and get attracted towards it. And as uh, now we were discussing about uh, including a lady in the team. So I myself is a uh, secretary of uh, MIG Cricket Club and we organize uh, box cricket regularly there. So this is the fourth season we organized just a month ago. And uh, we make sure that one lady should be there in playing eight team. It's a, it's a eight side and one lady should participate in that. So it makes really great fun and uh, uh, it's really excites people to watch uh, them playing and we create such a rules that uh, whenever lady scores a run, it's always a double mm -hmm. and whenever t she takes a wicket, uh, the team declared all out or sort, sort of some uh, encouragement to the lady players as well. And uh, yes, it will go very long long way. I, I wish uh, this league, DPL, uh, it will go long way and it should be uh, this way only and it could be better and better. When I started season one, I had already set in the mind that this will go a long way. And season two, we are going to start from Jan 2020, uh, January to April, we will be going there. There will be different things, different format again included. So we are starting the second season in January 2020.